So what happens was a big company splits, and we already have experiences for Simas when I was working with them. It was quite a big company, and it was a bit an issue. So there are some absolute trivial things, like for instance, you have access badges with the logo of the company, and you have to change it. For instance, they were red, and now they have to be blue. That's, that's stupid, but this is something you have to think about. Then you have to stop replication between different subsidiaries and the company, which might be a bit difficult, because at some point, they are too related, and they want to exchange data between the two companies. So that means you need a converter, and this converter might be costly. Before it was flowing free, freely, now you have to put some, some converter. Of course, the manager would say that this kind of connector would be a piece of cake, easy to develop, easy to negotiate. The easiest negotiation in the IT history. Typically, you have the WTU connector, which is costly. You have to deal with some specific protocol, directory unionist protocol, which is kind of a pita. It's no DUB. Might ring a bell for some of you. And the U in union is absolutely not what you think it is. <laughs> Typically, manager will always say, OK, a DIT is a DIT, and no DIT is better than a bad DIT. At the end, it's all about directory information entries, putting, sorry, putting, injecting directory information entries into a direct DIT company host. I can die in a ditch. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> of course, the company is UK, living Europe. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just trying to put a, a bit of humor into these three days. Any questions?